racing now to the final field on far side. It's a Valiant Force that leads to elite status. Chased by Malk on the stand side coming through is His Majesty now as they race up towards the line. Valiant Force perhaps doing best far side. Chased by Malk and elite status. It's Valiant Force that wins the Norfolk. Yeah, I mean, you know, this was just amazing. I can't, I can't speak to be honest. I can't even <laughs> breathe at the moment. So um, we've been trying really hard and we keep hitting the woodwork and this means the world to us really. Perfuse from Tagabawa, Valley King in behind is staying on well. Down the near side, Cloudbreaker. Also Bertinelli in the purple cap and Desert Hero coming through in the royal colours. They race up towards the line. Desert Hero squeezing through between Valiant King and Bertinelli. It's going to be close, Desert Hero. Desert Hero for the King! Royal winners at the Royal Meeting are extremely special and especially this one. I think it's a poignant one and, and, and to be a part of that and you know just yeah uh, an insanely special day that uh, I think will will live high in my career probably at the top for, for the rest of my days in the saddle I think. Racing inside the final furlong and a half and it's Warm Heart who leads the way under Ryan Moore from Crown Princess running up then is Lumiere Rock and then Sea of Roses Alice Eva is beaten as they go inside the final half of furlong it's Warm Heart who's strong to the finish and Warm Heart will win Warm Heart has won the Ribblesdale. Well Ryan gave her a beautiful ride she she settled lovely and um, the way ahead as long as he could and no he couldn't be happier really uh, uh, really really happy Haley. They go inside the last now. Coraz Monami draws on turns with Coltrane. Coraz Monami and Coltrane will battle out the Gold Cup. Coltrane coming back for more on the inside. Coraz Monami though under Frankie just proving the stronger on the run for the line. And Coraz Monami under Frankie has won the Gold Cup. And unbelievable because uh, on my last year winning the Gold Cup, uh, I actually had uh, myself, the King and uh, the Queen uh, Camilla. We had a. Uh, Talk beforehand, talking about his win, and then uh, the next race, I go on and win the Gold Cup, and he presents the trophy. So amazing, I mean, really amazing. Nine Gold Cups. I mean, what can you say? I mean, amazing, and uh, yeah, is you know, I'm speechless, you know, because I didn't expect it. I'll be honest with you. So now we run closer to 80. New Endeavour over on the far side, just about leads overall. Near side, Docklands hit the front from Ramazan. Bless is battling on as well. It's the far side, New Endeavour, who shows out in front. Near side is Docklands, they're wide apart. New Endeavour and Docklands, they head towards the line. It's Docklands, near side, New Endeavour, far side. He hinted at his ability last time. You know, he's relished it today and uh, he, was, he was good today. It was lovely to watch, yeah. A very open looking race and Wipero has come through as well and it's Wipero that now leads to Derby. Sixth leads the way and has kicked away from Exoplanet and Drumroll stays on. But it's Wipero for Hampton Court Stakes glory. Look, just in, insanely privileged to be a part of the whole uh, the whole occasion because, yeah, I mean, it's, it's magical. It doesn't get better than that. Royal winners at Royal Ascot is, is the pinnacle of our, of our sport for a jockey. Croupier Northern Express and then on the near side finishing well is Witch Hunter and it's Witch Hunter that's getting up from Croupier and Northern Express. Witch Hunter. 